bisa Seiyo aku Jesus Seiyo aku Jesus Somebody help me sing and say it's good, come on Good morning, Sister Christine. Good morning to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, Minister Joyce. Hallelujah. Good morning to you. Hallelujah. Good morning, Pastor Clement. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Hallelujah. It's a blessed day. Hallelujah. 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 Good morning, Brother Claude. Good morning to you, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, Brother Matthews. Hallelujah. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Hallelujah. It is a blessing to see you here. Brother Dennis, good morning. Good morning and welcome. Thank you for joining us. Hallelujah. Brother Ben, good morning. Good, good morning. to see you here this morning. Mama Angelica, good morning to good you, morning. woman of God. Hallelujah. Amen, Mama Angelica. Good Hallelujah. Good Hallelujah. Good morning, sister. Oh, God, I believe that is you. Hallelujah. Um, 301-246-7624. If I'm mistaken, please correct me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anyone that is here already. Good morning, iPhone. Hallelujah. Good morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for our consistency. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And coming here every morning, joining Amen. together. Hallelujah. To keep this altar aflame. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Just thank you for Amen. your presence. Hallelujah. I just want to, if we can, just another one to two minutes. I don't want to make light of the day. No matter what agenda we have, just set it aside for two minutes just to worship our Lord and our Savior, just to worship our God, to thank him for all that he's done for us. Hallelujah. All that he is doing for us and all that he will do for us, not by our, our agenda, but by his, that we're submitting our will to him today to allow him to have his way and, have, and take control over everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just bless his name for a few minutes. If you're able to unmute, please unmute. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's the word that come out of our mouth. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. We are grateful to you, Father. Father, without your son, Lord God, we would be, Lord God. We would be, Lord God. Without your Holy Spirit, oh God, we Thank you, 
Amen. I just wanted to share a few announcements with everyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you know, today is Good Friday. Hallelujah. 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 We are celebrating. Hallelujah. Our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we do every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Um, just wanted to give you a few announcements. I wanted to remind and just if, if you are a leader or called to be a leader, please join us tonight at 9 p.m. as pastors discuss job description and GPS very own leaders, Pastor Mark, with GPS very own leaders, Pastor Mark. Pastor V, Pastor Adu, Pastor Clement, Minister Ovi, and many others. Hallelujah. This very yeah. this is going to be a very intense conversation. So do not miss it. Hallelujah. Set the time aside if you're a leader. Set the time aside if you're able to, if you are a leader and you are called to be a leader. And if you are called to be a leader, to join us tonight at 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 And hallelujah. As you know, you know, we are here together from Monday through Friday. I'm mean, Saturday at 5 a.m. to 7 7, sorry, 5.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And on this upcoming Tuesday, our turning point, we will have a guest. He is an internationally acclaimed seasoned deliverance um, minister with a ministry that cuts across all races with a ministry that cuts across all races. So join us. Be sure to join us. Don't miss turning point. Turning point should we should if we can help it. If we can help it, it should never be missed. Hallelujah. 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 Come and join us and be blessed in Jesus. That is April 19th, Tuesday, April 19th. Mark your calendars. Mark your calendars. Hallelujah. 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 To be there. Hallelujah. And as they say, be there or be square. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, this this week, this week, this week has been a week of celebration. It has been a week of celebration. Uh, uh, they call it Holy Week. Hallelujah. It Amen. is the week that Amen. was before our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, died on the cross. But the good news, oh God, there's such good news. <laughs> if he wouldn't have died, hallelujah, where would we all be right now? Amen. That's true. Where would we be? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're thankful for it. Um, so we're gonna um we're gonna be coming today. We're gonna be coming from our um devotional um, um April 15th. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Um sufficiency of the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, glory to God. Now he, I'm going to start, I'm going to read, I'm going to read through this really quickly. I'm just going to read through the, the, the today's devotional. Um, and then we'll take some prayer points um, as well. Um, now he that hath wrought us for the self same thing is God, who also hath given us and the, er, I'm sorry, the earnest of the spirit. Second Corinthians five. I'm sorry, I started to read. It's my fault. Please sorry that you're moving. Give me. Mm -hmm. Why you moving? Me. Okay, to whom you yield. I'm sorry, I'm reading. Oh, when I'm going back, I'm going back. That was good too. I'm going back. Sufficiency of the Holy Spirit. Now he that hath wrought us for the same self-same thing is God 
who also have given unto us the earnest of the spirit. Second Corinthians 5, 5. God did not give us the angel or any other spirit, but he gave us the Holy Spirit. If angels can do the work, why will he give us the Holy Spirit? The equipment we are given suggests how fierce and how big our enemy is. Only the Holy Spirit is sufficient. No wonder many people find it hard to navigate through life's hardest places. We remember Moses when he insists that, insists that unless God's presence goes with him, he would not go forward with Israel. He demanded the greatest of the spirit. And he said, my presence shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, if thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence, Exodus 33, 15. There are so many good and powerful spirit God could have given us. There's so many great angels God could have given us, but he gave the Holy Spirit because angels cannot make it. Neither can any other spirit be sufficient for the things that are coming upon the earth. God cares so, cares so much for you that the same spirit, he cares so much for you that the same spirit forgive me spirit upon same spirit god cares so much for you that the same spirit upon jesus not less that is the same spirit given to us the same spirit he put upon jesus and put upon us hallelujah nothing coming is out there that can be able to subdue you hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. glory to god hallelujah. Hallelujah. i just want to go back just for a minute um when he says, why, why will he give us, he, he said, why will he give us the Holy Spirit? The equipment we are given suggests how fierce and how big our enemy is. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is sufficient. So I just want to pull up 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. Hallelujah. Um, 10, I'm sorry, 10, 4 through 5, if you can. And bring that up in the King James Version. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It says, for the weapons of our warfare are not cardinal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and brings into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Everything that happens, even though he gave us the weapons he talked about that first he let us know that these weapons are, are can cast down every imagination it can it can um tear down every stronghold but everything starts in us it starts as a thought and then it becomes an imagination if we keep thinking on it and then after we it becomes an imagination as it plays out in our minds and everything it becomes a stronghold. And then we find ourselves in situations and things going on in our lives and attacks coming and whatever have you. But he gave us the Holy Spirit. Why? Because he knew this of man. He knew this when he created us. He knew that we would not within ourselves be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. Now, don't mind you, he sent, the, he sent angels at times because even when Elijah, you know, going back to even when Elijah said um, to allow Elisha to see, Elijah to see, to open his eyes that he can see that there are more with us than there is of them. But those angels come, he, he sent them, he told us we have them. They're on every side of us, they're above us, they're beneath us, they're on every side of us. They'll bear us up in their hands, at least we dash our foot against the stone. Yes. But the thing is that they do, they have a job to do to help protect us. But the Holy Spirit, he gave to us that we would have the power to overcome anything that would come towards us, anything that would try to harm us, anything that would try to do us in. 
that will try to nothing that can every weapon that the enemy can create against us no matter what it is it could be anything we we be, we say this all the time but we need to get we have to including myself get this in our spirits we have to know this we have to know that we know that we know that no matter what and what weapon is formed whether it be sickness and diseases whether it be a weapon a gun or anything a knife anything someone's words anything someone that speaks down to us someone that speaks tell us that we're beneath them someone that says we're yeah, beneath we are yeah. not we are not these things are things the enemy uses he attacks our minds he comes in our minds and attacks our thoughts he comes to our thoughts he makes us think he makes us think things that are not of god he makes us think things about ourselves he makes us think things of others this is what weapons that he uses these things are powerful yes but they are not more powerful than our god they are not more powerful than our than the holy spirit this is why christ came he died he said i have to go back i have to go back he told us he had to go back because the only way for the holy spirit to come was with him going back so he went back to god so that the holy spirit could come the holy spirit the one who teaches us everything the one who tells us what to do the one that leads us who guides us Man. He takes us into places. He takes yeah. us where we need to be. When we're walking down the street and we decide, oh, let's go left. Let's go this way. I want to go around this corner. This is the corner I want to turn. But the yeah. Holy Spirit will speak to us, no, go right. I want you to go right. Us not knowing that waiting on the left side mm -hmm. is a snake, is someone to do us harm, and he prevents us from entering to those places so these weapons that come up the enemy when he comes up against us this is how he said he's given us power and authority it is by way of the holy spirit that he has given us this power and authority so it is the power and authority of god that comes through the, the holy spirit that is within us that we have and he says that gives us the power all the power over the enemy so we have all the power over the enemy but we ourselves have to believe that we have to know that we have to receive that giving is never completed until receiving has taken place so when he gave us his holy spirit that means we have to receive that holy spirit we amen. have to allow him to have access amen. Amen. to us he has to allow us to have access to our minds to our thoughts we have to give him access to our body we have to give him access to our hearts this way the enemy cannot do anything to us it seems like it it appears like it but it's not true mm -hmm. that is how he does the enemy does this is why he's so he seems so powerful as he did with eve he gave her the word but he gave her a part of the word he everything he said to her was of truth but then he twin his lie because he is the father of all lies. He threw in his lie in there. He threw it in there. He mixed it up in there so that it sounded really good to her. And she then was like, oh, why not? Why not? So this is it. So that's when he realized, God realized, even in the time of Moses, even in the times of David, that even though they went his presence was with them he knew that man would not make it unless he was on the inside of them directing them guiding right. them yeah. leading them showing them yes. revealing to them yes all truth revealing to them what was a lie what was the yes, truth Lord. so this is why we hey he is sufficient nothing else can do that the angels don't know they only go out by order 
But God can, tells them to go and tells them what to do. The Holy Spirit can speak what God is saying to us. Yes. He can tell us everything. He can see all things. He knows all things. Yes, and he's able to translate that into us that yes. we're able to have sufficient to do what we need to do sufficient yes. to stand against the enemy sufficient to not be moved by the enemy hallelujah and we do not go without him so for the weapons of our warfare they are not cardinal they're yes. mighty through god Yes, Lord. The Holy Spirit is how we can bring down those strongholds because he is telling us what to do. Use this weapon here. Use the weapon of love now. Yes, Use Lord. the weapon of peace here. Use yes. the weapon. Yes, he is, he is fruit. He tells us right here in this point right here, this is how we're going to overcome this. We're going to long, be in long suffer, do long suffering right here. Mm. We're going to have self-control on this one right here. This is how we overcome. This is our sufficient. He's sufficient for us. Paul told him, he said he went to, he went to him three times. He went to God three times about the enemy. He said, this is like a thorn in my side. Can we do something about this? Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, hold, wait a minute. My grace is sufficient for you. Yes. My Holy Spirit is sufficient for you. Amen. Amen. You have sufficiency through the Holy Spirit. I am in you now. So what he tries to do, no matter what he tries to do, he can poke at you all day long. He can come up here and he can accuse you all day long. He can do whatever he wants all day. But because my spirit is within you, because I've given you the Holy Spirit, I baptize you with the Holy Spirit. He is on the, I am on the inside of you now. He cannot overcome us. He cannot subdue us. He cannot take us out of here. Hallelujah. I want us to just um, go with the, um, um, the we're going to do a prayer point um, from the manual um, 45. And it says, Lord, I thank you for loving me enough to give me your Holy Spirit. We're gonna pray that prayer right now. Lord, everyone, Lord, I thank you for loving me enough to give me the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God, for your spirit, Lord God, that is on the inside of us, oh God. We thank you, Lord God. Thank you for holding me to the
glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh God, we give you thanks. Hallelujah. 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 You know that today represents his love for us. I don't I don't know. I I it represents God's love for us. Because he sent his son and his son decided to die. He gave up his life. He laid it down. He became a sacrifice for us. His blood was shed. Hallelujah. This is why we pray. This is why we glorify his name. This is why we exalt him. Never cease an opportunity when it is recording stopped to pray for our God and our Lord to pray to him to exalt him and to magnify him. Never cease, never cease, never miss an opportunity. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're gonna go back to the manual just for a second. And just, I'm really just gonna read this one part. Um, that when it said, and it talked about Moses, when he insisted that unless God's presence goes with him, he would not go forward with Israel. Hallelujah. So we're going to come from, uh, we're going to go to Exodus 33, 14 and 6, 14 through 16. Recording and, in progress. And when we do, as we do, I'm just going to read this. It's going to be from the contemporary English version. Um, and it says, the Lord said, I will go with you and give you peace. Then Moses replied, if you aren't going with us, Please don't make us leave this place. But if you do go with us, everyone will know that you are pleased with your people and with me. That, that way, I'm sorry, it's hard to see from my thing is blocking me. Uh, please with your people and with me, that, the, that way we will be different from the rest of the people on earth. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit <laughs> makes us different. I'm not the same as the people in the earth who don't know him. I'm not the same as the people in the earth who don't serve him. I'm not the same as the people on the earth who worship other gods. I'm not the same. I'm not the same as the, per the people who lie on one another. I'm not the same as the people who kill one another. I'm not the same. Uh, hallelujah. That is not who hallelujah. I am. Amen. Amen. Because he goes with me. Yes, but Lord. understand, if he says I'm not going there, neither am I. Because if he's not going with us, it doesn't make any sense for us to go. It's true. If you go without him, you're on your own. If you go to a place where you don't need to be and he's not with you, you're on your own. You are, you are open to anything that can come up against you. You put yourself in a place that you're not able, that if God, if God, God's not with you. So we don't want to go. We don't want to go unless he is going with us. He told us that he would. He said, I will go with you and give you peace. Mm -hmm. Moses said, okay, let's make sure of that. Mm -hmm. Because I'm telling you, Father, I'm not going in. I'm not going across the street. I'm not mm -hmm. going in that store. I'm not taking mm -hmm. that job. I'm mm -hmm. not doing it. I'm not marrying mm -hmm. that person. I ain't mm -hmm. doing it. I'm not mm. buying that. I'm not bringing it into my house. I'm yeah. not going to visit them. I'm not unless you go with me. Amen. Amen. Unless Amen. you are with me. Amen. If you are not with me, I can't go. Amen. But if you are, when you are with me, the people see the they difference. See. And Amen. I know 
when you are with me. That means that you are pleased with me. Hallelujah. So we do not go anywhere. Hallelujah. That he is not with us. Amen. Father, I won't move. I won't go. I won't do. I won't speak unless Amen. you are with me. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, that you are with us, Lord God. And I am here at this altar because God is with me. And if God required a bachelor's degree, God was doing it. God was doing I just want to take yeah, one more prayer in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I never knew God said God told us, um, he showed and showed me something about us people, who we are. We're just like we tend to um give up our birthright. We tend to give them up sometimes because we don't believe, because we don't trust him, because sometimes in situations, the enemy will make us think he has, he, he, he'll make us think that we can't have conquer or do anything. And he'll make us think that in a situation that God is not going to move on our behalf. But that is his tactic. But understand the Holy Spirit is sufficient for all things. This is why the baptism of the Holy Spirit, so that we can see the truth and the devil and when the devil is lying to us about things. As I was saying, I I, I applied for a job I didn't have a degree for. I applied for a job that I didn't have any kind of skill for. I applied for this job 
and I didn't seem to know nothing. And now I've been in this job for 25 years. Amen. 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 The Holy wow. Spirit spoke to me and said, this is your birthright. When wow. I was applying for the job and they almost didn't accept my application, that even a person at my job came to me and said, God must love you <laughs> because they accepted the application when they should have shut it down. Oh, Lord. But they accepted it. Oh. And I know he is sufficient. The enemy came, many thoughts, many things. I almost walked away from it. But the Holy Spirit reminded me, reminded me of whose child I was. Amen. Reminded me that there are things in this earth that we have a right to. Amen. Because it's our birthright. When we were born in Christ, it became, these things became our birthright. Amen. Yes. The Holy Spirit is sufficient. God is sufficient. God is sufficient. All powerful, almighty. He is sufficient for all things. So do not fret, do not worry, do not think otherwise. He is with you. And he is sufficient for everything that would come up against you. Every right. thought, cast it down, bring it into the obedience of Christ. Bring it into the obedience of Christ. Every thought that would sway you another way. Amen. That will turn your head another way. Bring it unto the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, We're going to just take one more prayer point that I would like to take. And it's um, 46. And it says, I thank God for my talent, for my gift, and for all the supernatural assistance. I thank him for the angels coming to my rescue sometimes. I thank him for the gifts that he has given me. I thank him for the talent that I have. But I insist, <laughs> I insist on your Holy Spirit upon my life. Mm -hmm. Not just right now, but daily, daily. every yeah. day yeah. of my yeah. life, every yeah. day yeah. that you give me breath, every day that I wake up, every day that you send me forth, Lord God, insist on your Holy Spirit upon my life. Every day, every Let's <laughs> 
Saints of God, I'm going to pick it back on what um, Minister Kaylee is leading us on. We thank God for the spirit of God that is on this altar this Amen. morning. Before we go on, I want to say good morning and happy Good Friday. It sounds a little weird when you say it. This is Good Friday. This is the celebration of the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, his sufferings, his beatings, his slaps, the crown upon his head, 
Jesus. the sword on his side, the nails on his arm, the nails on his leg. We are celebrating the suffering of our Lord. And I want, um, I say, I wrote on the GPS altar on the WhatsApp page that although Christ suffered, and although we are going, oh, we are supposed to be sad or hurt when we see someone in so much pain, we understand that this pain that he went through on this day was to give us hope because we know that there is a resurrection coming. Yes. We are not mm -hmm. hopeless thinking that he's dead and we don't have any hope. He is risen, and because he lives, we have been resurrected with him. Without yes. his death Hallelujah. today, there will be no resurrection on Sunday. Without his death today, there is no life for us on Sunday. Without his death today, we are not priests, we are not kings, we are not queens, we are not intercessors. We celebrate his death today because we have hope for his resurrection on Sunday. So good morning, everybody, and a happy Good Friday. Today is a day to celebrate, for we know we have hope, because today there is hope. There is hope. We are not of the hopeless. And I want to take a few minutes and bless the name of the Lord for today. Hallelujah. For today, Friday, for the hope of today, for the hope of today, for the grace of God that was shed on the cross of Calvary for today, Hallelujah. for grace, for mercy, for peace, for salvation. Let us thank God for the death of, uh, of the son on, on the cross of Calvary. Let us bless the name of the Lord this, this day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us bless the name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name. Let's take a few minutes and bless his name. 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 Hallelujah. We are not of the hopeless, beloved. We are not of the hopeless, beloved. Our Christ did not die today at the end of the day. That's our Christ. Our Christ did not die today. Our Christ did not die today. At the end of the day. So we suffer today. Hallelujah, 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I don't feel I don't know whether it's just my computer or me or I don't know but I'm not hearing much I'm just hearing Mr. Kelly and Pastor Agu I want us to turn to the book of Colossians chapter 2 Colossians chapter 2 King James Version Colossians chapter 2 please we are going to verse um, 14 I believe yes Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 the death of Christ his death this is exactly what his death meant with his blood he blotted out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us with his blood everything that was contrary to us was blotted out he did all of that he took it out of the way by nailing it on his cross his blood it was giving us hope his Mm -hmm. blood was giving us the permission to be here his blood is what makes this altar possible his blood is what makes the breath in our lungs possible let us i just want us to take a few minutes and daddy thank you for the blood of jesus thank you lord god thank you for the blood of jesus thank you that's our first prayer for just father thank you for the blood of jesus the blood of jesus now wash me by the snow the blood of jesus that blotted out the handwriting of all this that was against me the blood of jesus that was cut out Make anything contrary to me take took away the blood of Jesus. Let's take a just thank God for the blood. Thank God for the blood. Thank God for the blood. Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus. That we thank you for the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the blood of Jesus. Father, I say with you. in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I want us to go to our manual we're talking about the sufficiency of the Holy Ghost and I want us to go to Emmanuel. Um, I'm going to read, and I'm going to probably not read the whole thing. I want to just emphasize a couple of points here. I'm going to start with, God did not give us the angel or any other spirit, but he gave us the Holy Spirit. If angels can do the work, why would he give us the Holy Spirit? Mm-hmm. The equipment we are given suggests how fierce and how big our enemy is. Only the Holy Spirit is sufficient. No wonder many people find it hard to navigate through life's hardest places. I want to stop here. Um, When I read this, no wonder many people find it hard to navigate through life's hardest places. I remembered something Pastor Adi shared. I don't remember when she shared this. Um, But she shared about faith and how faith It's like driving blindfolded and you're listening to the passenger, your passengers in the passengers to give you directions on where to go, how to go, when to turn left, when to stop, when to break, when to turn right. And what I heard 
in my spirit was many people find it hard to navigate through life's hardest places because we don't have the faith to go mm -hmm. blindfolded and trust God to tell mm -hmm. us when to go left, when to turn right, when to stop, when to stay, when there's a traffic mm -hmm. light, when there's a police car in front of us, when you have a, there's a car coming left, there's a car, you know, when you shop left, turn left, and laser left, two lights down, two further lights down, you're going to turn left, you know, about a mile, in about two miles. We don't trust God enough. And that is why we, can't, we find it difficult to navigate through life's hardest places. But right now, I want us to go to this, um, the book of, I believe it's the book of Luke. Give me a second, let me be sure. I'm going to be going to the book of John chapter 16. I want to read from the Amplified Version. And I want us to take a prayer point from there. I'm going to John chapter 16. We're going to read in verses 1 through um, 15. And it says, I have told you all these things so that you should not be offended, taken unawares and flatter, or be caused to stumble and fall away. I told you to keep you from being scandalized and repelled. They will put you out of and expel you from the synagogues. But an hour is coming when whoever kills you will think and claim that he has offered service to God. And they will do this because they have not known the Father or me. But I have told you these things, and I've told them to you now, so that when they are called, you'll remember that I told you of them. I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you. But now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you ask me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts taking complete possession of your hearts. However, I am telling you nothing but the truth. When I say it is profitable, it is good, it is expedient and it's adventurous for you that I go away. Because if I do not go away, the comforter, the counselor, the helper, the advocate, the intercessor, the strengthener, the standby will not come to you he, to, he, will not he will not come to you into close fellowship with you. But if I go away, I will send him to you to be in close fellowship with you. And when he comes, he will convict and convince the world and bring demonstration to it about sin and about righteousness, which is the uprightness of heart and right standing with God and about judgment. There's a long reading, forgive me, about sin because they do not believe in me. They do not trust me, rely on or to me. About righteousness because I go to my father and you will see me no more. About judgment because the ruler of the world is judged and condemned and sentenced already. And sentence already is passed upon him. I have still many things to say to you, but you are not able to bear them or to take them upon you, or grasp them now. But when he, the spirit of truth, the truth-given spirit comes, he will guide you into all truth, the whole and full truth, for he will not speak his own message. He will not speak on his own authority. He will tell you whatever he hears from the Father. He will give the message that has been given to him, and he will announce and declare to you the things that are to come, things that will happen in the future. He will honor and glorify me because he will take off, receive, draw upon what is mine and will reveal, declare, disclose, and transmit it to you. Mm. Everything that the Father has is mine. That is what I mean when I say that he, the Holy Spirit, will take the things that are mine and will reveal, declare, disclose, and transmit it to you. I, I want us to go back to verse 13, if that's possible. When the spirit of, the tr of truth, the truth the given spirit comes, he will guide you into all the truth, the whole full truth, for he will not speak his own message or will he speak of, of his own authority. He will tell you whatever he hears from the Father. He will give you messages that has been given to him. And he will announce, declare to you the things that are come, 
the things that are to come that will happen in the future. Um, I like the um, passion translation. That's what it's called. I was like, what is that called again? The passion translation. Um, I don't want to read the passion translation. I just want the passion translation calls the Holy Spirit, the divine encourager. Now I wanted to go back to our manual. I'm going to take a prayer point that Minister Kelly led us to. And we're going to take that prayer point again. And our manual, we're going to with the prayer point um, 46. A lot of us, um, I believe Pastor Mark has said even on this altar, um, that when we talk about being blessed, we talk about, you know, I got a new car. Our testimony is I got a new car. I got a bigger house. I got um, $10,000. Mm -hmm. That is, seems to be what we are testifying about. We testify about our talents. We testify about our gifts. We testify about supernatural assistance. We give testimonies to getting bigger cars, money, houses, things. But our biggest testimony is the Holy Spirit upon our lives daily. What we just read said that the Spirit of God would show us things to come. He's our divine encourager. Our standby, our advocate, our lover, our friend. I want us to take this again and I want us to pray it with feeling, understanding what we are praying. And ask Baba, I thank you for your spirit and I insist that your spirit is upon me daily. Daily. Every second, I want to be able to drive blind, trusting that your spirit is talking to me and telling me where to go, when to stop, when to stand, how to go left, when to turn right. I want to be able to drive blind, trusting your spirit. I want that spirit upon my life daily. Let us pray. and trust your spirit. I don't want to move without your spirit. I'm asking Rabba <laughs> <laughs>
in the name of Jesus I want us to go to the book of Romans chapter 5 we're ready from the King James version of the Bible Romans chapter 5 Um, in three, for when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Next verse, please. For scarcely for a righteous man would die, yet pre-adventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commended his love toward us, in that while we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. Mm-hmm. Much more than be now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were sinners, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Hallelujah. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed on to all men, for that all have sinned. For unto the law, sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come? But now, as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one, many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded unto many. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation. But the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. For if by one man's offense, death reigned by one. Much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That as sin has reigned unto death, 
Even so, my grace reign unto righteousness, unto eternal life by Jesus Christ, our Lord. I want us to go back one to 20, please. Moreover, the law entered that offense might abound. For where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. This verses that I just read are loaded. <laughs> And I cannot even begin to go through everything. Pastor Mark has done a great, marvelous job in expounding on this scripture. Um, when he, uh, blah, 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 when he taught, uh, I don't remember the, I think it is, I don't remember what it's called anymore, I'm sorry. But it was in Rockwell when we had a program in Rockwell. And he did a lot expounding on the scripture. But I want us to pray one prayer point. And I want us to pray. We are talking about the spirit of sufficiency. I want us to pray and thank God for the spirit of grace that has much more abounded in our lives. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says, where, where moreover, the law, moreover the law entered and the offense might abound, but sin abounded. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Mm -hmm. I want to thank God. Right now, we are not praying. We are thanking God for the spirit of grace. Because grace has abounded in our lives. Because grace is upon our lives. Because grace is upon our mercy. Because grace is upon our, our altar. Because grace is upon our children. Because grace is upon our grandchildren. Because grace has abounded. Let us thank God for the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus. The spirit of grace. We are blessing God for the spirit of grace. Him. We have the spirit. Thank you, Lord. We are blessing God for the spirit of grace. The spirit of grace, the spirit of grace that has abounded, that has abounded in our jobs, that has abounded in our in our ministries, that has abounded in our businesses, that has abounded, that has abounded in our homes, abounded in our marriages, abounded and abounded upon our lives. Let's thank God for the spirit of grace. The abounded in our speech, abounded in our talk, abounded in our that's the Thank you, 
Jesus name. In Jesus matchless name. Amen. 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 I want to take the last prayer point in the manual. Um and I'm looking at the time and I'm trying to. I know the spirit of grace is upon us. I know the spirit of prayer is here. And I know we want to pray. We shall take one more prayer point, which is the last one of the manual. And then um, I'm just trying to abide by time. Today is Freedom Friday. Today is Good Friday. Some of us are going to work and some of us are going to service. But whichever way, I want to abide by time and respect it in this time. Um, so I, before we go to the last prayer point on the manual, I want us to go to the Gospel of Luke. We are going to go to the Gospel of Luke. Um, we're going to go to Luke, yeah, Luke chapter 22. Um, this is talking about Jesus. When Jesus had gone to the place, he said unto them, pray that ye enter not into temptation. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast. And he kneeled down and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. I want us to understand and realize that as we go forth today, we are not doing a Christendom or speaking Christianese or having a religious experience when we say today is Good Friday. We say it's Good Friday because we understood or we understand that someone suffered. He wanted this cup to be removed from him because he understood the pain. Every one of us on this altar have gone through pain. And if we had a choice to take the pain away and still learn the lesson, I know I will for one, some of us are so hard-headed that we do not understand the lessons the Spirit of God wants to teach us until we go through some kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. But somebody here, we are looking at the Lord, we are looking at our Lord Jesus Christ, who is without spot or wrinkle, without yes. any sin, was willing to go through pain. He despised the cross, but he was willing to go through it for me and for you. And I want us to understand that Christ did not go through this to get out of it, to make us beggars and paupers and be disobedient and not know what to do, when to do, and walk walking out as if we are confused. Mm. Christ went through this pain to make us victorious. Lord. Let's go back to the last prayer point of the manual. And I want us to pray this with understanding. It says, by the reason of the Holy Spirit power upon my life, I scale the huddles by fire. I destroy satanic blocks by fire. I speed the seas in front of me by fire. I am not a victim. Hallelujah. I am not begging. I am not crying. I am not of those who are disadvantaged. I am victorious. I scale oh. by fire in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Ah, say it a bit. Say to a I am not those who are anxious. I am not anxious. I am not worried. I am scaling the fire. I am scaling the hollow by fire. I am destroyed by fire. I am great. I am God. La 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 la. Speak this peace. In the name of Jesus. Father, I say to you, 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 say to you,
I am so sorry to interrupt the flow of the spirit. As I said, I'm trying to respect people's time. I know people have things to do. Let us continue to take this fire. Let's take it even out of this altar. In our own private altars, let us pray. In our own private altars, let us meditate on what this day means. It's not a religious holiday. It's not a Christian holiday. It's not something we speak because we just have nothing else to say. So we just say, this day means something. Without this day, there is no Easter to celebrate. So let us bless God for this day, even our own private altars. Let us understand what this day means. In the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, in Jesus' name, I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. And I want to thank you for the sacrifice of Calvary. I want to thank you for you blotting out our transgressions on the cross of Calvary. I want to thank you for what the sacrifice meant to you and how much your sacrifice has opened the door for us. Uh, that we want to glorify your name for this day. And we bless you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Again, I'm sorry I took amen. time. I really I was trying to respect people's time. Uh, I'm going to um I'm going to repeat the announcement for those who did not hear it. Tonight, for those of us who are leaders, for those of us who have been called to the leadership. For those who believe they've been called to leadership, we are having a panel tonight. It is called Job Description. It's tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, for everyone who is not on Eastern Standard Time, please um, calibrate your clock or figure out what time it is in your, in your area. We're going to have our own ministers. Some of our ministers or most of our ministers are going to be there. And we're going to be speaking on what the job description entails. Um, Pastor Mark is going to be there. Pastor V is going to be there. Pastor Adju, Minister Kaylee, myself, Pastor Clement. And we're going to have some guest ministers as well. Let us come and understand what it means when we talk about being a leader and what our job description entails. Amen. And of course, next week, Tuesday on Turning Point, we've announced. Again, I'm just repeating announcements for those who did not hear it. We are having a minister of God who's a great deliverer, has written several books. And Pastor Joe will be with us next week on Turning Point. 
So let us make it a point to be there. I let us share the grace and fellowship, and I apologize for taking time. And I ask that we please go here, pray, and meditate today. For today, indeed, is Good Friday. Amen. 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 May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The love of God, God and the sweet fellowship of the, of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. rest in our body now, now and forevermore. And forevermore. Amen. 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 Surely Amen. God's goodness Amen. and mercy shall follow us all, us all the days of our lives. Our lives. And we are dwelling in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Happy Amen. Good Friday, everybody. God bless the Friday. Happy. The little that you had left and said, God is still worthy of my gratitude and my thanksgiving because I didn't even I have to have this, like but he saw fit to bless me I with a little. And how many of you know that it may start like but the miracle that I just can't get over, my name is registered in heaven. Believe in signs and wonders I have resurrection power Yes I do Still the miracle that I just can't get over My name is registered in heaven
material things and every opportunity that you think you should have, but you have Jesus. And if you have Jesus, you have hope. If you have Jesus, you have joy. If you have Jesus, you have peace. If you have Jesus, you have forgiveness. Salvation.